is Simon here of designcourse.com. Today we're going to be doing the review for the design challenge number 12, GUI toggle switch design. But first, before I continue on with the quick reviews, uh, check out designcourse.com slash premium. It's gonna be able to help you ultimately become a awesome designer through three different products, which are going to expand shortly. Um, first one is Mentor, which is one-on-one -on -one design training with me. Visual Identity Design Course, VizID, which helps you design like a company's brand identity, their visual identity. And also Wise Banner, which is a Photoshop banner maker. So pretty soon I'm gonna be extending this to website design as well, and some quick Photoshop and Illustrator fundamentals course. And also, a, a third one or fourth one will be mobile app design. Uh, so check that out. All right, so let's get started here. Uh, so essentially we're looking for toggle switch designs and these are just some examples that I gave in on and off states. And so let's see what you guys came up with. And by the way, I didn't really check any of these out um, before doing this. So I'm gonna be winging it. All right, so this first entry is from uh, Noslin and he's going for a minimalist design and this is it. Uh, it's cool that you showed it in the settings, kind of show how it might look. Did a couple other variations. Uh, yeah, it's very simple. Uh, there's good white space. Uh, the only thing I would say, the only thing I would critique would be is maybe uh, try to make the emphasis on you know, what is uh, draggable uh, a, a little bit more. Like right now, this kind of competes with it. I would maybe scale it down just a tad bit or think of another way to try to, you know, in terms of it's in design theory, it's called a uh, visual hierarchy right now. It kind of feels like they're one in the same in a way in terms of their prior priority in the design. So I, uh, other than that, I like it very good. All right. Soren from two weeks ago entered this very cool uh, GIF animation that we have here. Uh, so, yeah, let's see this. Okay, so this is just a different color variation. This one is changing from uh, on to off, like a different color. Yeah, I mean, I like both of them. Uh, very simple. I think... Uh, yeah, this works well. Uh, I'm not sure if I would use like a blue color to depict the off state only because no, uh, I'm just trying to, it's kind of confusing when I'm like looking both of these uh, at the same time. Yeah, I just might make the color for the off state maybe a lot more desaturated just to kind of denote that it's off, like whatever function or feature currently is, it's you know it's in an off state. We can kind of be able to tell right away. Uh, other than that, no, everything's good. Uh, contrast is good, color's good, uh, and, and white space and such, so good entry. All right, Alexander. All right, so... Again, this is a little bit more graphical, which is perfect. I I like you know the attention to the details and you know when it comes to using those different uh, Photoshop layer styles effectively, this would definitely be an effective way to use things like drop shadow or uh, outer glow. As you can see, there's an outer glow placed on here, uh, but it makes it look realistic, like it's inset into here. So I like that. I uh, you know I. Th Maybe the same gripe I have with this, and maybe it's just an issue with me, <laughs> is is the off state is bright and uh, it almost sticks out a little bit more so than the on state. Uh, so maybe a different color or different saturation uh, perhaps. But yeah, I like that. It's a good entry. All right, so let's see here. If I were to showcase these, uh, it, it seems like there's not a ton of... Uh, difference between the background and the toggle switches themselves. Now this is just a minor thing. You can still see them, uh, but they do kind of get lost and they might even more so uh, if they were shown at, you know, an actual size that they might be used. Uh, so if you come out here, you can't really, it's kind of hard to see them. So I would try to cr increase the contrast uh, either by decreasing or, or lightening the background rather um, in that way, they would stick out a little bit more. I would also say the same thing with the the draggable button portion of the toggle switch. 
I would just make these inner blue and red portions thicker so that you could see them a little bit better. Uh, so yeah, uh, other than that, I like it. Uh, good usage of the layer effects. Just a couple things in terms of contrast and uh, just visibility. All right, so this one we have an entirely different type of entry. Um, this is more like a flat design. And so this is from Jazz ID 23. Uh, so just looking at this, I are you serious? No, I don't want to uh, upgrade to Windows 8.1. Remind me later. Uh, so anyhow, looking at this, it's a tad bit confusing in terms of uh, you know how it might be used. I I'm trying to think about this. Um, so you know this is the on state. It's currently on. And are you supposed to drag this button over to the right? And then on this state, it'll be off. I guess it's just kind of confusing because I, on the on state, you have this darker blue color, but in the off state, you have this lighter blue color over here. And there's, um, I don't know, it's just kind of confusing in that regard. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Uh, otherwise, in terms of design, I, I'm not entirely too sure about the little corner folds here. I think that may just kind of get in the way. Uh, but either way, uh, aside from that, color contrast, uh, white space, all that is good. So thanks for the entry. All right, so here's another one. I uh, BBP Santana, 16 years old. All right. All right, so this is pretty simple. I uh, in terms of these type of toggle switches, okay, the, the only difference here, of course, is the uh, color here is being changed on the text. I, what, I, I like a, the, an approach that I kind of would prefer over this I, is instead of using the same color here, I would try to come up with a way where you know, you're using something like a, a black, for instance. <laughs> that way, when these are paired up with each other, you can really tell which button as a whole is lit up, which is on, as opposed to this, where we kind of have everything is just the same. Uh, and in terms of you know just glancing at everything first without even reading it, you don't know what is on or off based on the colors and, and the shading and, and whatever. So uh, I would keep this for the on and then either de maybe desaturate this off right here or try to come up with some way to, to make it very evident right off the bat, you know, what is on and what is off just based on the design alone. Other than that, that's good. All right, first time doing the design challenge. Okay, so I, when it comes to using these, like the bevels and the inner shadows and uh, all this stuff, I, I definitely would prefer a, an approach that's, or an overall aesthetic that's similar to say, for example, something like this. Uh, if I were you do disturb TV, I would, what I would do, I would try to recreate a design like this from scratch uh, using your layer styles, which this, this is all mainly layer styles. There's probably just one, maybe two, three, four different layers here, but there's, a, or five, it, but there's a lot going on in terms of those layer, layer styles. So I, uh, because as as it's done here, it kind of looks just a little bit generic, and not to be an ass or anything, uh, but it, it seems like you could definitely get a little bit more out of uh, customizing and fine tuning the layer styles uh, if you want to go through this type of of, of approach. I uh, other than that, I do like the colors used. You could definitely tell green, you know, and is go, red is bad, you know, or off or stop. So you got that right, so that's good. All right, I'll continue on here, Galaxy 85. All right, brain and brain. Okay, so the idea here is to switch the brain on or off. So you can clearly tell, and this is kind of what I was alluding to in, in several of the other previous entries about, you know, using color uh, in contrast to depict about what is on and what is off. Uh, so this does that well. The only thing I, I kind of think takes away from the design is maybe the, the big drop shadow here and uh, the outer glow and maybe the type right here with the inner inset 
uh, inner shadow rather. But uh, but looking just at these specifically, uh, yeah, in terms of knowing what is on and what is off, they definitely work. So good entry. Uh, Gloria. All right. So like I said, show an on and off state. I kind of meant to like duplicate this and then show the version where it would be off. I uh, having said that, it does look like it's a little bit pixelated right here as if you scaled it up. So try to make sure that, you know, when you're displaying your graphics, even if it's just for a silly design competition like this or, or challenge, uh, that you don't scale up your raster graphics. Otherwise, the, it'll result in pixelation. But yeah, because there's not a second one for me to view this here, it's a little bit difficult for me to really judge. I like the simplicity of it and there's good white space and the contrast. So you've done that well. Uh, MXV design. All right, so, all right, you hope it's good enough. It's not good enough. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, I actually like this. I, again, um, like I was alluding to before, using color to really, uh, you know, depict which is on in a very quick manner, this is very good. So I like the desaturation here. You can tell this is on. I like the chrome effect here too. That's done well. There's just basically a one pixel inner stroke with a, or outer stroke, uh, with a gradient in the middle here with two different colors or three different color pickers essentially. So yeah, I like it. Good job. Uh, no slen. All right. Here's second challenge. All right. Yeah, and again, this is simple. I, uh, you can tell what is on and off. Uh, and I like that. So yeah. Not too much I have to say about this. Uh, I think they're a little bit too fat for these this area for my liking uh, in terms of height. But uh, again, that's not a really too much of, of a big critique there. Uh, so that's good. All right, so Ramra. All right. See, I don't know if these, these aren't considered using a check marker bullet. Yeah, th these would not be considered uh, toggle switches. So these would be check boxes. So uh, other than that, it looks good, <laughs> but uh, yeah. And Velo, okay, here's mine. Again, ultra simple. I I would probably, I mean, if you're going to go this route, I would probably ditch there. I can see there's an outer glow here of a, dark, of a darker shade. I, I would probably ditch that. Um, and it looks like the off and on are just a tad bit too big and crammed in here a little bit. Uh, the, the on looks good, but the off is kind of, I don't know why, it's just sticking out, making it look larger, and there's not much margin or white space between these elements. Um, they kind of just really stick out a little bit too much for my liking. Uh, but other than that, you know, when I have a, a design that's submitted that's so simple like this, then an eye, I, there's not too much I can say because it is so simple. Uh, but thanks for the entry. All right, so Macros. All right, one no glow and one with glow. All right. All right, so this would, all right. So I uh, I would probably, when it comes to this gradient that you have applied here, I would probably maybe not make this one so uh, so light and then this one so black at the end. Maybe try to find a, a little bit, like a, more of a middle ground between those two. Um, but in terms of depicting what is on and what is off, Without any labels here, you're kind of, uh, I mean, just having it presented, you know, like it is right here, you're kind of stuck not knowing what really is on and what really is off. Uh, assuming there might be like labels on the top or something, and that way you would be able to know. But I, uh, yeah, aside from that, uh, we looked at the Glow version. Now, I think I definitely like this version a little bit better. Uh, the glow is not too evident here, so it kind of just makes it look blurry in my opinion. But other than that, yeah, I would, again, I would go back up to a couple of the other entries that really use the layer styles well. Um, not to say that this is bad or anything, but I think the gradient could use some work. And uh, also maybe, you know, conveying what exactly is on and off, you know, just by looking at the switch here. All right. And then my favorite username, Peter Fuck, we have my attempt. <laughs> All right, so I'm not too certain what's happening here because I uh, usually you have a toggle switch. You're toggling something, moving back and forth, uh, and so 
essentially this seems like more like a like a custom graphic checkbox almost or an on and off button uh, instead of something that's toggling back and forth in some way shape or form uh, so having said that the color eh, almost a little bit too much contrast especially against this gray background kind of clashes right here uh, but yeah thanks for the entry again it's a real simple entry so I can't really give too much feedback all right, Guy Wald. Hi, guys. News here. Okay. Yeah, they say blah, 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 blah. Went for min minimalism. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't exactly say this is too minimalism. You have a lot of lot going on here in terms of this, uh, the button. Um, so I, I would assume that, you know, the, the red portion means it's off and then the green is on. So you can kind of tell. I would definitely go with this, though. With this, you have the, the, the very, like the one pixel stroke, and then you have another like three or four pixel stroke going around here. Just a little bit too cluttered for my, in my opinion. And you could probably simplify this as well, because there's a lot, 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 lot going on there, especially if this were to be viewed at a smaller size, uh, or to scale that down, might just get a little bit too crazy going there. So I would eliminate maybe one or two of those spheres. Uh, in there and it'd be effective. All right, so Caesar ACR. All right, thank you for the last la challenge feedback. Okay, here is his entry. So this is, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I would probably maybe try to work with this a little bit more um, to make it a little bit more evident. Um, just because when I look at these, I mean, yeah, you can tell what's on and off, but there's not too much of a difference. And it's also not really what I would consider a toggle switch type of design because the only thing that's changing here is a color and there's no movement in the design between on and off aside from just brightening up the green. So you have the, the, the idea of using color right, but uh, in terms of form, I would try to work with some of the other um, ideas. All right, well, that is it. That went kind of quick. Uh, yeah, so... I think uh, the thing to remember about uh, working with toggle switches is really to use color and form in order to create a very noticeable and instantly recognizable uh, depiction of what is currently, if the feature is currently on or if it's currently off. Uh, so this is a great example. This is a pretty good example. Uh, this is a pretty good example as well. This is just an over top, you know, example. But uh, I think I, uh, you know, if you watched everything, I think we saw a pattern develop, you know, about what kind of constitutes as um, being effective in terms of toggle switch design and being able to know, you know, immediately by looking what is on and what is off. And that's basically through color and form, as we have here. This is a this is a real good entry. I like this one. So yeah, hopefully that was helpful for some of you. Hopefully I didn't piss anyone off. Uh, but yeah, uh, be sure, hey guys, if you haven't yet, I'm trying to grow my Facebook following, go over to facebook.com slash design courses and give me a like here. I'm at 935. I'd like to get to 1,000 soon. Uh, so anyhow, yeah, aside from that, subscribe here on YouTube. Of course, if you haven't, it's just a little subscribe button down here somewhere. And then also check out designcourse.com slash premium. All right, I'll see you next time.